皆さんから優しいコメントをいただいて感動させられました。皆さんこんにちは。Welcome back to 日本語。元気ですか ？This is part two of みなの日本語 intermediate lesson s e v e Before we begin, make sure to check out part one of this lesson. In this video, we will learn about the following grammar points. はい、準備できたら始めましょう。Our fourth grammar point is nani nani nanka and nani nani nante. So, this grammar point has quite a lot of uses, so we will go through them one by one. But first, let's take a look on how to use this grammar point. So, for nouns, we can use both nanka and nante. So, we just add nanka and nante to a noun. But for verbs and adjectives, we can only use nante. So we have the verb and、uh, adjectives in plain form, and then we add nante. First, nanka is the casual form of nanika. So the short of nanika is nanka, meaning something or anything. For example, did you just say something now? Ima, now, nanka or nanika. So nanika becomes nanka. And then, itta, ima nanka itta, ima nanka itta. Another example, is there anything I can do to help? Nanka, anything or with anything. Tetsuda koto wa, help with something. Nai,、uh, which is the、um, plain form of arimasen. Or arimasen ka? Nanka tetsuda koto wa nai? Nanka is also used to express unexplainable feeling when you want to say kind of for some reason or as a filler、uh, to start a sentence when you don't know the words or you don't have the words yet to form your sentence. So, so usually you start it with nanka. For example, Something feels strange. So there's an ex- unexplainable feeling. s Something's、um, not right or something feels strange. Nanka, hen na kanji. Nanka, hen na kanji. Hen means strange. Na kanji or feeling. So a weird feeling. Nanka, hen na kanji. Another example you look different somehow. Did you cut your hair? Nanka, kawatta ne, something has changed. Kami o kitta? Did you cut your hair? Nanka, kawatta ne, kami o kitta? Next, it is used when you are recommending something to the listener. It adds a nuance that A, or nani nani nanka, is、um, just an idea and you don't want to. Give the impression that you are being too pushy with your、um, suggestion. For example, doesn't this pink sweater somehow look good on you? So, somehow、uh, it softens the statement, right? Kono pink seta, this pink sweater, nanka somehow, doesn't this look good on you?、Uh, to look good is anata ni. Niaun janai? Anata ni niaun janai? Doesn't this、uh, look good on you? Kono pink seta nanka anata ni niaun janai? On the other hand,、um, when we use nante, it kind of gives off a different meaning. Nante is used、uh, more of on the negative、um, statement. For example, this Pink sweater somehow doesn't suit you. Kono pink seta nante anata ni niawanai. So, doesn't fit you somehow. So, nante is much better used with a negative sentence. Kono pink seta nante anata ni niawanai. This pink sweater somehow doesn't suit you or doesn't look good on you. Another example, 
I kind of recommend this rate plan. So when a, a salesperson is recommending something to a customer, but they don't want to be too pushy. Kochira no ryokin plan. This rate plan, nanka kind of, or to give the nuance that, you know, this is a good idea. Osusume desu to recommend. Kuchira no ryokin plan nanka osusume desu. So, osusume can also be written in katakana. Kuchira no ryokin plan nanka osusume desu. Next, it is used to give an example with the feeling that A is definitely something to consider. For example, give me my new year present. Look at Ronan, he got 100,000 yen, you know. So it's, it's um, in this situation, a kid is asking um, his parents for a new year present, which is in Japanese called otoshidama. So this is usually given to children on New Year's Day by their parents or grandparents. So it's a big amount of money. Otoshidama chodai, so give me my new year present. Ronan-kun, nanka. Or we can also use nante. In this case, Ronan-kun nanka yakuman mo moratan da yo. Yakuman means 100,000. Mo is just a particle to indicate that as much as this amount or this much. Otoshidama chodai, Ronan-kun nante yakuman mo moratan da yo. Another example, even I got dozens of Valentine chocolates. Ore, I, we can use ore. Uh, if it's a male uh, talking, ore, nanka, or nante. Ore, nanka, Valentine choco nanjuko mo moratta yo. Even I got dozens of Valentine chocolates. Next is a nante is used to express criticism or surprise concerning A. For example, you had a phone call from someone called Lee yesterday. Kino Lee san to yu hito kara denwa ga atta yo. And then the other person might show surprise because I don't know anyone with a name like Lee. Lee nante. I don't know. Hito. Shiranayo? Ri nante hito shiranayo? Another example. I was surprised when I unbelievably passed the test at my first try. So here we have a full sentence. So we change this to plain form. Shiken ni ichido de gokaku dekta. To pass for the first try my exam. Shiken ni ichido de gokaku dekta nante. So we use nante here. We cannot use nanka, only nante. Shiken ni ichido de gokaku dekta nante. Bikkuri shita. I was surprised. Shiken ni ichido de gokaku dekta nante. Bikkuri shita. Next example. I was surprised of how painful it was. Konna ni itai. So here we have an adjective. Itai. Konna ni itai nante. Bikkuri shita. Konna ni itai nante. Bikkuri shita. What a cute baby. What a cute baby. Nante kawaii akachan nande shou. Nante kawaii akachan nande shou. Nande shou is just to soften it. Nante kawaii akachan nande shou. Next, this is also used after a noun when the speaker doesn't think it's important or important enough. It is also used when the speaker wants to be humble about himself or herself. For example, my Japanese language skills are not good enough yet. Watashi no nihongo noryoku nante or nanka. So here the speaker is humbling himself. My Japanese skill is not good enough yet. Watashi no nihongo noryoku nante. 
まだまだです。私の日本語力なんてまだまだです。Something like marriage is not necessary for me. Here the speaker is showing that marriage or this noun is not important enough. Something like marriage. 結婚なんて私にとっては For me, something like marriage 必要がないです is not important or is not necessary 結婚なんて私にとっては必要がないです However, なんて cannot be used before a particle For example, I won't lose to you We would normally say this as あなたに負けないよ。あなたに負けないよ。So we have here the に particle. So if you want to say that I won't lose to someone like you, we cannot use なんて only なんか。So here we have the noun あなた、you. あなたなんかに。So we still use the particle に。あんたなんかに負けないよ。So instead of saying あなた、we use the simpler word あんた。あんたなんかに負けないよ。Our fifth grammar point is 何々させる。This is the causative form which is used to express making someone else do something. So, aside from that, we can also use causative form to describe of evoking or making someone feel something, such as to cry, to enjoy, to be surprised, to be startled, and so on. The person which is provoked、uh, is marked with particle o, meaning to make someone feel something. So, like I said, we've already learned、uh, the causative form from beginner lesson 48, which is used to say that you make or let someone do something. For example, 部長は加藤さんを大阪へ出張させます。Meaning, the department manager makes Mr. or Miss Kato go to Osaka for business trip. So, how do we use this pattern? So, same as making a causative verb. So, we have the verb of emotion, which is an intransitive verb. Change it to causative form. The last syllable is in a syllable, and then we add seru. For example, yorokobu, meaning to be glad or to be pleased. Causative form is yorokoba. So, bu becomes ba plus seru. Yoroko baseru, meaning to make someone feel glad or happy. Another example, naku, to cry. It becomes nakaseru, to make someone cry. Warao, to laugh. It becomes warawa seru. So u becomes wa. Warawa seru, to make someone laugh. And last example is kowagaru, to be scared. So it becomes kowagara. So ru becomes ra plus seru. Kowagara seru to make someone scared. So let's use this in a sentence. For example, I made delicious cakes and it pleased the children. So the speaker caused an emotion or provoked an emotion to someone. Watashi wa oishi keiki o tsukutte. So, I made a delicious cake and it pleased the children. Kodomo tachi o, person being provoked with emotion, is marked by particle o. Kodomo tachi o, and then the verb yorokobu, to make someone happy. So, it becomes yorokoba, and then in past form, seta. Watashi wa oishi keiki o sukutte. Another example. When I was a kid, I often fought with my younger brother and made him cry. When I was a kid, I often 
um, fought with my brother. Fought is kenka o suru. But since a noun, kenka, is following another noun, which is kyodai, there is a rule in Japanese that it changes. So kenka becomes genka. So watashi wa yoku kyodai genka o shite. Ototo o. So my younger brother, naku. So our verb is to cry. So we want to say to make him cry. So it becomes naka semashita or naka seta. Kodomo no toki watashi wa yoku kyodai genka o shite ototo o naka semashita. Another example, the teacher made a joke and made everyone laugh. Sensei wa jōda no itte. So the teacher said or told a joke. And then, minna o, everyone. Our verb is to make someone laugh. Warau. To laugh, to make someone laugh is warau wa seta. Sensei wa jōda no itte, minna o warau wa seta. Next example, I told a ghost story and scared my sister. Obake no hanashi o shite. So I told a ghost story and then, Imoto o, my younger sister, kowagaru, to be scared. So to make someone scared is, kowagara se te shimaimashita. So shite shimaimashita is just, an expression that um, give the new ones that you kind of regret what you did. Obake no hanashi o shite imoto o kowagarasete shimaimashita. Also, we can use that with nani nani sasereru or nani nani sareru. The emotional causative can also be used with causative passive form. So, again, let's review. So, we learned about Causative form from lesson 48, right? Then we learned about passive form from beginner lesson 37, meaning did or does something to someone. So there is a receiver of the action. For example, watashi wa sensei ni homerare mashita. I was praised by my teacher. So I am receiving the action. And we are using the passive form. And then from intermediate lesson 4, we learned about the causative passive where we combine the causative and the passive form so it becomes sasereru meaning being made or forced to do something by someone else for example mo gogo 11 ji dakara ototo wa okasan ni ne saseraremashita meaning my little brother was made to go to bed by my mother because it's already 11 pm for example when i was a child a child in my neighborhood often bullied me and made me cry. So someone is causing you to feel an emotion. Kodomo no toki, when I was a child, yoku, often, kinjo no kodomo ni ijimerare, by someone. So ni, here, mark the person doing the action. Kodomo no toki, yoku, kinjo no ko, Kinjo no ko means neighbor, a, a child from the neighborhood. Uh, kinjo no ko domo ni ijimerare. So I was often bullied and made me cry. So our verb is naku, to cry. So passive causative is naka sare mashita. Naka sare mashita. Made me cry. Kodomo no toki yoku kinjo no kodomo ni ijimerare nakasare mashita. Or we can say naka serare mashita. Another example. My daughter came back from abroad with her boyfriend and I was surprised. So she surprised me by doing this. Kaigai kara from abroad kareshi to with a boyfriend. Kikoku shite. Kikoku means to come home to your um, own country. Gaikoku kara kareshi to kikoku shite. Musume ni. Again, the person 
doing the action is marked by particle ni. So, by my daughter. Kaigai kara kareshi to kikoku shite musumu ni. And our verb is bikuri suru. Be surprised. So, when someone made you feel surprised, it, we use the passive causative. My daughter made me feel this, made me feel surprised. So, we say bikuri, then saserare mashita. Bikuri saserare mashita. Kaigai kara kareshi to kikoku shite musume ni bikuri saserare mashita. Next example. I was moved or I was touched by the kind words I received from everyone. Minasan kara yashashii komento wo itadaite. So receiving kind words from everyone made me feel touch or moved. Our verb is kando suru, to be moved. It becomes kando, so since it's a group 3 verb, she must only becomes saserare mas or saserare mashita because it's in past form. Minasan kara yasashi komento o itadaite. Kando saserare mashita. The lecture made me think about the problem about garbage. Gouen de at the lecture, gomi no mondai ni tsuite about the garbage problem. The lecture made me think. So the verb is to think. Kangairu. It made someone think or it forced someone to think. So it becomes kangae saserare mashita. Koen de gomi no mondai ni tsuite kangae saserare mashita. The lecture about the garbage problem forced me or made me think about it. And our last grammar point is nani nani nara nani nani. This is used to recommend something when uh, someone brought up a certain topic. Meaning, if it's this you're talking about, then I recommend nani nani. So we've already learned about nani nani nara from beginner lesson 35, where we use it with a noun. Noun nara nani nani. For example, someone says, I'm thinking of going to a one-week trip to the Philippines. Do you have any good place to recommend? The other person might say, So desne. Well, let's see. Ishukan nara. If it's for a week, Palawan ka Cebu ga itomaimasu. I think Palawan or Cebu is good. So nara can be used with verbs, adjectives, and nouns. So we use the plain form and then just attach nara. For example, the verb iku to go. Doko doko e iku nara. If you are going to doko doko, then nani nani. Or with an adjective. For example, itai, painful. Itai nara. If it hurts, then nani nani. So let's take a look at some examples. I'm thinking of going to Hiroshima once. The other person says, if you go to Hiroshima, then I think going by bus is cheap and convenient. Ichido Hiroshima itte miyoto motteirun desu ga. So I'm thinking of going to Hiroshima once. Hiroshima e, our verb is go, iku. Hiroshima e iku nara. If you are going to Hiroshima, then Basu ga yasukute benri da to omoimasu yo. I think bus are cheap and convenient. Hiroshima e iku nara basu ga yasukute benri da to omoimasu yo. Another example, I'm thinking of buying a new computer. The other person might say, if you don't need the old one, then could you give it away? Or could you give it to me or hand it to me? So I'm thinking of buying a new computer. Furui no ga, the old one, iranai, don't need. Furui no ga iranai nara. If you don't need the old one, then could you give it away is yuzutte itadakemasen ka? Can you hand it over to me or could you give it to me? 
古いのがいらないなら譲っていただけませんか ?Won't you give it to me?Won't you hand it over to me?Or won't you give it away?The schedule looks tough.Yeah, if it'll change, then you should have fun while you still can.So the schedule looks tough is このスケジュールきつそうだね。A. 変更する。To change. 変更するなら。If it'll change, then. 早く楽しんだ方がいいですよ。So you better have fun as soon as possible while you still can. A. 変更するなら早く楽しんだ方がいいですよ。And last example, if you have a headache, take this medicine. 頭が痛い。So here we have an adjective. 頭が痛いなら、この薬を飲むといいですよ。頭が痛いなら、この薬を飲むといいですよ。We can also say, 飲んだ方がいいですよ。And for our bonus grammar point is we have nani nani tekure. For example, Mr. Tanaka told his mother, please wake me up at 6 o'clock. So this is a direct quote. So meaning we are saying the exact words and we are、uh, putting it in between these quotations. Meaning these are the exact words. So th- this is a direct speech, which in Japanese is Tanaka san wa o k a s a n ni. 6時に起こしてください。So please wake me up at 6. と言いました。So Mr. Tanaka said to his mother, please wake me up at 6. Now, if we want to say it in indirect speech, like Mr. Tanaka told his mother to wake him up at 6 o'clock. So it becomes, Tanaka さんはお母さんに6時に起こしてと言いました。So he said to wake him up. But we, since we have the shite kudasai, please do this, it could become shite kure. However, this sounds a bit rough. Tanaka san wa o k a s a ni rokuji ni o k o s h t e kure to i m a s h i t a So it's like giving an order. So be careful with using nani nani te kure. Because it is mainly used by men when asking a junior or someone younger to do something, and as like I said, it sounds a little rough. For example, the department manager is talking to his subordinate. The department manager says, Kaylee, make me a copy of this document. So, Bucho, department manager, says, Kaylee, この資料 Our verb is to copy. コピーして Kure. Again, this sounds a little rough, like make me a copy of this document. Katie, この資料 copy してくれ But if you want to be more polite, we say copy してください Please make a copy or copy してくれる Won't you? Could you photocopy this for me? Copy してください is the most basic, most polite. Copy してくれる Is、um, could you make me a copy of this? And the most imperative is kopi shite kure. Another example father might say, s Come here quickly. So it's an order. Oto san says, Hayaku, kite kure. Hayaku, kite kure. Come here quickly. And last example grandfather. Grandfather says, Please help me. Oji san, grandfather. Taske te kure. Taske means to help. Taske te kure. Help me. Taske te kure. Let's try. Anata o nakaseru no wa nan desu ka? Let me know in the comment section below. Hai, otsukare sama de shita. Kyo no lesson wa do de shita ka? Yaku ni tatta ra? ライクボタンを押してくださいね。もし質問とかコメントがあれば、ぜひ下に書いてください。
I hope you learned something today. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future lessons. If you want to support this channel even more, consider becoming my patron to my Patreon page where you can get the lesson PDF and other study materials. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I will see you in the next one. Matane! I would like to give a big shout out to our elite scholars, Cornelius, Constantine, Kaylee, and Ronan. And to our study buddies, Paul, Taras, Jimmy, Stephanie, and DM. And to all our Nihongo students, Honto ni arigatou gozaimasu.